18 year old delivery driver is killed in a police standoff. I don't know what happened. He was shot and killed by police officer Tuesday in a Paris suburb. According to the family's lawyer, the, de the death unleashed tensions between angry residents setting barricades on fire and police firing tear gas. Police officer was detained on suspicion of manslaughter, according to the prosecutor's office in the Paris suburb of Nan Nantere? Nantere? Nanterre. Nanterre. Uh, it said the shooting took place during a traffic check. The victim was wounded by a gunshot and died at the scene. The prosecutor's office said in a statement, a passenger in the car was briefly detained and released. And the police are searching for another passenger who fled. So what was it that happened? Do we know what happened? Uh, okay, the lawyer cited a video reported to be of the incident circulating online that shows two police officers leaning into the driver's side window of a yellow car before the vehicle pulls away and one officer fires towards the driver. The car is later seen crashed into a post nearby. So they tried to take off and yeah. he shot them. So th is this what yeah. prompted these riots though? Yes. This, okay. Yes. Isn't that crazy though, that description of what happened in the traffic stop? seems so routine here like you all like there's an endless series of videos that you can watch of something similar to that. yes that's always it always feels like it's very u.s yeah like we always have incidents in traffic stops sure which are you know i'm not saying blame is always one way or the other it's, it's you know sometimes it's the person in the car sometimes it's sure a, but that just seems like a really routine thing here you know what people have to think about with cops i know it's very hard to do if you're not a cop but i want you to try you know that feeling that you get when you're driving on the highway? There's a reason why people get road rage. Ro road rage, rather. There's a reason why they get road rage, too. Yeah, there is. But the reason yeah. why they get road rage. Yeah. And one of the, the reason why they get road rage is, is when you're on the road and you're driving, you're in a heightened state because your car is going 60 miles an hour. So you're ready at any time to hit the brakes, to change lanes. Yeah. So you're in this heightened state. And then when someone does something, like, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Where you would never do that. Like, it took me a while to, to realize this. I, I forget where I read it. And then when I read it, I was like, duh, because I was always like, how come nobody treats people like that when they're walking? Yeah. No one ever does that. You're no protected one, by you know, this. If someone gets in front of you when you're walking, you go, oh, the guy got in front of me. Yeah. It's not an issue at all. Like, but in a car, yeah. you're like, oh, fucking asshole. Oh, fucking piece what, of you, shit. You fucking cut in front of me. Yeah. That's what it is, because you're at a heightened state. Now, imagine being a cop, and every time you pull someone over, yeah. you are You've, we've all seen those videos of cops getting shot. Oh, yeah. We've all seen those yeah. videos yeah. of cops pulling people over and then the windows explode and people fire on them. We've all seen those. They've seen them too. They know people who've been shot. Yeah. They have no idea who you are. They have no idea what's going on. No. So when they come up to that car, they are at a heightened state. They yeah. have to be. They are literally, to a criminal, they're the professional enemy. Yeah. Their job is to be the enemy of the criminal. Yeah. It's a fucking crazy position to be in in society. And we don't treat it with enough respect. Yeah. And when the consequence when it when it goes badly, all we think about is that officer and that's a representative of all police officers. But it's not true. It's true. I think a lot of people too, it's it's kinda hard like a lot of people they go into getting pulled over with a heightened sense of emotion themselves. Sure. Which if you are that person getting pulled over for whatever you got pulled over for, if that's your like mentality in that moment, you are actually going to escalate things. You are as the person getting 100%. pulled over. hundred percent. And, and it, it does take an effort to go, okay, this guy, like you said, he's walking up here in a heightened state. Yeah. Like I can diffuse things. My, I can diffuse them. Yes. By how I conduct this yes Good. but some people you know the you, first you have the people that are like the legal scholars who want to lecture the police officer on on his rights like yeah you can do that man right. or there's the i have friends even i have friends who are like i hate cops cops are all pigs you know like and i've i've watched them speak to police officers in a way where i'm like jesus christ man yeah like it's so disrespectful so stupid i go yeah you, i go but you are making this worse right that's a human being yeah yeah like I go, you when gotta you fucking interact chill with a little bit you don't have to you don't like, know them yeah you don't have to get on your knees right but you know just like look, he's doing his thing just like let's try to let's try to smooth this thing out let's not yeah. try to make it worse let's try to make it better yeah exactly yeah, if i ever have an interaction with a cop it's always how you doing sir yeah what's happening brother everything yeah. good yeah i i, I, I want it smooth and easy completely yeah yeah and just that whole that's but i fucking that those kind of generalizations all cops are pigs or 
Fuck off. No, it's not good. Fuck off. It's That's I don't like those generalizations with anything. Women are stupid. Shut fuck off. No. Fuck off. Fuck off. No. It's it's just it's just annoying. No, that, you're that, like most women are stupid. Ah, but like, <laughs> no. But if ah, you go if you go into those, anything. Yeah, like that, you're gonna any have, interaction with the fucking with the retail worker, a fucking auto mechanic, yeah. anything. Any interaction. And sometimes I think if this comes with age, sometimes you do meet a real piece of shit. Oh yeah. Like it can be a police officer, it can be the mechanic, it can be car salesman. The car oh fuck. The car salesman, <laughs> flight attendant. <laughs> yeah. And I used to take I used to I would say I call it take the bait more, right? Feel the rage, be become like escalate things. Yeah. To me, well yeah. I'd be like <laughs> I mean I've said some regrettable things to people. <laughs> you know? Because but I mean like I think with age now some one of the things that happens is